So this is our male reproductive model, but I'm just gonna point out right now the urinary anatomy for males. So of course we have the urinary bladder right here. This here is a ureter. We have, and I'm gonna open this up so you can see it a little bit better. This would be a ureter as well. The fundus. Then we have the neck, which is just the narrowing. We have the um, internal urethra sphincter, which would be right here. The prostrate gland here. And the um, ureter, I mean urethra, urethra. Now in males, the urethra is a little bit different. So we have the urethra that runs through the prostrate gland, which is prostatic, prostatic urethra. Then we have the external urethra sphincter, which you can't see on here either, but the external urethra sphincter would be the muscles that set right underneath the prostate gland. The part of the urethra that would run, run through the penile root here would be considered the membranous urethra. This part of the urethra is where males get a, um, when they're putting in a catheter, this is the part where they put it into is the membranous urethra, fun fact. Um, this here is the spongy urethra. And then we have the urethral orifice. of course, the penis. So that covers it for the male urinary anatomy.